Welcome back to Miss Teacher Tube with Janice Leong. Today we're going to be learning about extending a pattern. So we're going to use all the knowledge we've worked for so far to figure out how to extend a growing or shrinking pattern. For this example, I'm using shapes and I'm using a growing pattern for this one. So we're starting out with one triangle, one circle, two triangles, two circles, three triangles, three circles. So if I'm going to extend the pattern, the next one would have four triangles. And one circle, two circle, three circles, I need four circles. One, two, three, four. If I were to continue to grow this pattern, to extend this pattern further, I would have to do five and five, six and six, and so on. I have some activities coming up. Have fun with them, and I'll check in with you soon. Welcome back. So now that we've practiced working with a shape pattern, we're going to now move to number patterns. So if I look at this number pattern and I want to extend this pattern, make it longer, um, I'm going to have to figure out what the gap is. That's going to be your job on the next few slides while you're working. Find your gap first and that will tell you how you're going to extend your pattern. So for this one, 28, 38, 48, 58, I'm obviously skip counting by 10. So my gap is plus 10. So if I want to grow this pattern, 58, my next number would be 68, then 78, then 88, etc. So have fun working on the next few slides. Welcome back. Well, we certainly have learned a lot today about extending patterns. Now I had a little more fun with my original pattern and I thought I'd just keep going and going and going. So I got as far as 248 because you can skip count by 10 forever. So have fun practicing this skill and I'll see you next time on Miss Teacher Tube. Bye for now.